Okay, be honest. Have you ever had a brilliant idea and thought to yourself, man, I should write this down, only to have forgotten it by the time you finally get to your phone? Or worse, maybe you did write an idea down, but it's just garbled nonsense by the time you look at it next. Well, here's what's actually happening. Whenever you write something down, whether it's with pen and paper or you're typing something out, you're forcing your brain to operate at one one hundredth of its natural speed. And I know it sounds completely backwards, but stick with me because I think I found the laziest way to capture twice as many ideas in literally about half the time. It's a productivity system that makes brainstorming ideas not only faster and more effective and actionable, but most importantly, super fun. And there's very little writing involved. I'll explain what I mean in just a second, right after we understand something that I call thought speed. Now, to understand thought speed, let's talk about how your brain actually works. I'm, I'm, this is just with some very light research. I'm not like a neuroscientist. Think about it. When you're having a conversation with someone, you don't pause for 30 seconds between each of their sentences to formulate your responses, right? Maybe you wish you could sometimes, but if you did, it would just make things really awkward. We don't do that in general because normally we don't want to be awkward, but also speaking is our brain's natural operating system. We think faster than we can communicate our ideas. Speaking is what we do all day, every day with friends, family, coworkers, pets. I'm doing it with you right now. And maybe you've even talked to yourself, but the very moment that we try to capture our thoughts by writing them down, something really interesting happens. We force our brains to downshift into an unnaturally slow gear. And before you try to cancel me in the comments for saying, writing is bad, there's absolutely nothing wrong with writing things down. The deliberate pace helps you process complex ideas, organize your thoughts, make new connections. However, there's a completely different type of creativity that happens when your thoughts flow at their natural speed. Your brain processes thoughts at about 120 meters per second. That's about 270 miles per hour. But when you're typing, you're probably around 60 words per minute. The point is this. Your brain is running at fighter jet speeds while your fingers move at a snail's pace comparatively. When you're trying to work through a complex brainstorm or project, typing becomes the bottleneck. It's like trying to drain a swimming pool through a coffee straw. So what's the solution? Well, it's to capture your ideas through your voice, not through writing. And lucky for us, we carry around a little device with us at all times that makes it easier than ever to do just that. It lets you capture your ideas basically at the same time that you have them. No pressure buildup, no lost ideas, just pure natural thought flow. And when you combine this with AI, that's where things get really interesting. All right, now that we understand the power of voice notes, I wanted to walk you through what the system actually looks like in practice. So I'm actually gonna just do a live breakdown of what this sort of voice note to AI protocol really looks like. So I took just about five minutes and wrote down some really nascent thoughts about what I wanna talk about here. And I know this kind of goes against what I was saying earlier before, where you don't have to really do any sort of writing and that it still is true. You can still use this method without writing anything down. But I wrote some notes because these are going to be for a voice memo talking about my newsletter. So in order to better structure what it is that I'm saying, I just took five minutes to write down a couple thoughts under problem amplification and solution, which is just a, a really easy, easy to read format that just structures your writing a little bit better. I wanted to show you just the actual real time process of what it's like having these notes in front of me and recording a voice note. I think the important part here is to not force your talking. Really, you should be talking as naturally as possible and really leveraging your brain's ability to think at the speed that it does. And then we'll take that transcript and use some really cool prompts that I'll show you in just a little bit and really work with this transcript in a really cool way. So my notes are in front of me, voice notes is open. I'm going to hit record and uh, let's do this. Okay, so I think beyond that, it has, and then when you put the t-shirts into the mix, you know, when you think, just when you break down your wardrobe, you thinking about colors and things with my eyes closed, uh, I love them because they stretch. I've literally never had a problem when it comes to my feet. Those are some thoughts on uh, minimalism and clothing and uh, sort of my journey with it. So there you have it. I guess I'll hit done. I'm just gonna rename this minimalism. That's as simple as it can be. You basically just record all of your thoughts into your phone and it gives you a nice little transcript that we can see here. What happens next is really cool because it takes all of the imperfections found in your transcript and makes them that much more readable and that much more actionable. So I'll show you exactly how to go about that next. 
All right, so now that we have our voice memo transcript, the real fun can begin. So I have this thought speed prompt playbook that I'm including for absolutely free with this video. It has a bunch of different prompts that I'll go over in just a little bit, but for now we're gonna start with the starter prompts. These are just general prompts that we can use basically for any of the main three categories that I think this system is really useful for. I have a brainstorming prompt, project clarity prompt, as well as a journaling prompt. So for now, let's just start with the brainstorming prompt. Uh, all we have to do is open it up and you'll see that we have some different instructions on how we can use it most effectively, as well as the prompt itself. So from here, all you have to do is come up here and hit copy and then head over to your large language model of choice. I'm using ChatGPT. From here, simply paste that prompt in and hit enter. I build these prompts so that all you have to do is send it once and it'll prime ChatGPT or Claude or whatever that you're using um, to be ready for that transcript. The best part about recording transcripts on Apple devices is that it is available across your different devices. Inside this transcript, you can see all of the little imperfections that I have and all of the all of those stumblings over that I, that I said when I was speaking. But the best part about this prompt is that it takes away all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight all of this with Command A and I'm just gonna paste it here. This is the entire transcript right into ChatGPT and you'll see how quickly this, this next part is. So if I hit enter, it'll send that transcript and then ChatGPT, based on the prompt, will spit out a nice, even breakdown of all of the ideas that I had. I wrote these prompts to be as general as possible, so by all means, get in here and change them however you'd like. I tried to accomplish a lot with a little, making them as effective as possible with just a little bit of prompting, and I think the, the main strength of the prompt playbook here is that you can get in here and change them. Again, we'll go over the rest of these prompts in these different categories in just a little bit. Awesome, so if we check back in with our chat GPT, we can see that we've now broken literally our speech down into some really coherent bullet points. And it's really cool to look at these because this is exactly what I was saying, just organized way better. And I didn't have to slow down to write these out by hand or figure out how to type these as quickly as possible in this organized fashion. It is, it is simply here. All right, so by now you probably have a pretty clear picture of how this productivity system works. Have an idea, record a voice memo about it, then paste it into ChatGPT using one of my prompts from Prompt Playbook. But where the real magic comes in is all of the different scenarios that you can use this productivity system. Once you start using this system on a consistent basis, you'll start noticing different opportunities in your life that actually really require this kind of thing. You see, your phone's not just a productivity tool anymore. It is your brainstorming buddy. It is your project planner. It is your journal. It is your all-in-one solution to taking your thoughts, noting them down with your voice, and taking action on them. So now I'm gonna talk about a couple more places that you can use this exact process in different areas of your life. And we're gonna do that by looking at the Thought Speed Prompt Playbook. This is included in the description for free because I really do want everyone to start using this. And if it's not this, I want people to have a jumping off place to begin using their voice notes and the, really their voice to capture their most pressing ideas. So inside the Thought Speed Prompt Playbook, you'll see these starter prompts that we started with. These are really easy, simple base prompts that just give you a good starting point for any sort of voice memo that you have. But if you scroll down, you'll see the other categories that I've included. We've got brainstorming, productivity, learning, goal setting, relationship building. These are all of the most important areas to my life and I'm sure that you can find some alignment in your own and I just want to break down a couple of these prompts so if we look at the brainstorming tab here I think storytellers lens might be my favorite because it's a prompt that shapes brainstormed ideas into compelling narratives that can be used for storytelling marketing or content creation so basically inside of each one of these prompts it gives you a how to use section so just some suggestions that you can keep in mind before you hit record the prompt, which makes it super easy to copy and paste with just this button up here, and then some example uses. So already you can see how easy it is to integrate the prompt playbook into your life. If we look at focus maximizer, you can see inside here, this is best for pinpointing what is pulling your attention away. So if you just speak really authentically about the things that you might be struggling with, with a certain project or a certain thing that you wanna get done, this will begin to identify ways that you can better prioritize your energy. After that, goal setting is a really cool section that I wanted to make sure to include in this. It is a really streamlined way to begin thinking critically about 
what it is that you want to do with your life. And the best part is you don't actually have to know. All you have to do is have a general direction of where you want to go and these prompts take care of the rest. My favorite out of these prompts is maybe the vision mapper because it turns your long-term goals into structured, achievable roadmaps. So all you have to do is think about, okay, well, what do I want to do? Where do I see myself, for example, in five years or 10 years? And you can talk through what the steps are that you're taking to get there or maybe what it is that you're struggling with. And this prompt does the rest. And then lastly here, I have a small section on self-reflection. I thought that this would be a great thing to include if you want to sort of streamline your journaling process. For example, the self-awareness amplifier is a great way to begin sort of holding a mirror up to your own emotions and your own actions and start thinking a little bit more critically about how they affect your mood and more importantly, maybe those around you. So the real beauty of this system isn't just in the tech or even in the prompts that I've been giving you. It's in its ability to fit into your life whenever, wherever. Whether you're a retired 65 year old or an undergrad student drowning in work, I truly think this is one of the best ways that you can begin using your phone, not as a distraction, but as a tool for planning and most importantly, action. Not to mention, it's a lot more fun to talk through your ideas rather than writing them down 24 seven. Your brain naturally works at thought speed, but for years, we've been forcing it to work at writing speed. And that gap between how fast you think and how fast you write, well, that's where your best ideas have been getting lost. But now you have a system that captures ideas at the speed of thought, works anywhere, anytime, and actually feels natural to use. Now you're not just recording thoughts, you're building a system that turns your natural ways of thinking into tangible progress. But if you wanna see another system that I've built for maximum productivity that uses a couple key apps that you probably already have on your phone, check out this video here. With that, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped and remember, keep scrolling mindfully.